بسم الله الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم وأصلي وأسلم على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير فيصل بن بندر بن عبد العزيز أمير منطقة الرياض أصحاب المعالي والسعادة أحييكم بتحية الإسلام بتحية الأمن والسلام في عالم رقمي تتسارع فيه الفرص والتحديات فرص عظيمة اقتصادية في الخمس سنوات القادمة ستمثل ربع الاقتصاد العالمي بقدر يتجاوز الـ 23 تريليون دولار ووظائف خلاقة ب 60 مليون فرصة والاكتنام هذه الفرص يتوجب علينا أن نواجه التحديات ولو نظرنا إلى آخر التقارير التحدي الأول ومن أكبر هذه التحديات الأمن السبراني ومن هذا المنتدى نطمح جميعا أن نعمل سويا للحد من هذا التهديد الذي يقدر بستة تريليون دولار أو ما يعادل سبعة في المية من الاقتصاد العالمي وبرعاية كريمة من مولاي خادم الحرمين الشريفين وسمو سيدي ولي العهد سنعمل جميعا معكم قادة الفكر والأمن السبراني وأصحاب السمو والمعالي في القمة العشرين لتأصيل لمبادئ وخارطة طريق المبدأ الأول كيف يتوجب علينا مشاركة البيانات وأفضل الممارسات للحد من هذا التهديد وثانيا إعادة تعريف الثقة والموثوقية بين الحكومات وبين القطاع الخاص وأخيرا وليس آخرا بناء الكوادر السبرانية لغد آمن ومستقبل مزدهر وكما أعلن صاحب السمو الملكي أمير منطقة الرياض نطلق اليوم برعاية كريمة من سمو سيدي ولي العهد مبادرتين عالمية لحماية فردات أكبادنا الأطفال في العالم السبراني وتمكين المرأة في هذا الفضاء السبراني وللحديث بشكل موسع أستأذنكم سمو الأمير وأصحاب المعالي والسعادة بأن طلب مني أخي الكبير معالي الدكتور مساعد العيبان وأخي العزيز معالي الدكتور خالد السبتي بأن أتحدث باللغة الإنجليزية مع ضيوفنا من العالم احتفاء بهم فاستأذنكم بالتواجد على المنصة Your Royal Highness, distinguished guests, it's an absolute pleasure to be here with you today. This is an opportunity to start a dialogue about how we can come together to safeguard 25% of the global economy. Because this is the opportunity at stake in the next five years. And how we can prevent today threats that could eat up today 7% of the global GDP and 50% of the job opportunities. But I would like to start this dialogue with a story, a story that goes back to 2017. How can we make sure, and if you can switch the slides, that we can address WannaCry in 2017 when challenges took place with ransomware. One particular bank in Europe had intelligence that malicious code was leaked to the dark web. There was no mechanism to share this information securely and this was practice, and the damage was so catastrophic that it touched and damaged more than 150 countries and more than $4 billion of economic value. The second trend that we have is the technological change. Moore's law is dead. We no longer live in a world where every two years, computing power is gonna double and it's, the efficiency is gonna be improved. We're moving into a world of quantum 
physics and quantum computing, in which we no longer live in ones and zeros, but one and zero. And in this world, we can definitely solve for the largest economic and social challenges. We can tackle coronavirus in a faster way. We can solve for climate change. However, there is one drawback. With quantum physics, we will be able to unlock the building block for every commercial encryption we have today that is based on the foundation of integer factorization. So we will be able to de-encrypt every commercial encryption known to man today. Last but not least, the largest headwind coming towards cybersecurity and the digital economy is talent. How can we come together to fill in a gap of 3.5 million cybersecurity professionals that we need to address? Six trillion dollars is at stake. This is the economic value of more than six G20 countries. Half of the jobs that the fourth industrial revolution promises will disappear if we do not tackle this challenge. This is why under Saudi's presidency of G20 and on, in this global cybersecurity forum that is sponsored by His Majesty the King and with supervision of His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman, we want to start this dialogue how can we come together and leverage this forum to connect to make sure that we address the following principles? How we can share information securely so we stop WannaCry and stop threats that are emerging today leveraging the coronavirus. Kaspersky Labs in the past two days found out that there are people right now sending malicious files trying to inform us how to combat the physical world with the coronavirus and embedding malicious code. Secondly, with quantum computing, we need to redefine trust and integrity between governments and businesses. And last but not least, we need to ramp up the cybersecurity capability. This is why, under the sponsorship of His Royal Highness, and with execution of the National Cybersecurity Agency, we are launching today two global initiatives. The first is so close to our heart, it's about providing a safe cyberspace for our kids, where we could reach as much as possible zero bullying, zero harassment, to safeguard the cyberspace. And if you wanna talk about economic growth, you have to double down on youth and women, and that's why today we're launching the largest women empowerment initiative in cybersecurity. With these initiatives, with this dialogue, in partnership with you, we are fully confident that we can safely and securely realize the opportunities of the 21st century by empowering and protecting people safeguarding the planet physically and digitally and shaping new frontiers. And I want to welcome you again to the Global Cybersecurity Forum.